Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. A lot of manufacturers have their flagship. Usually it's there to make a stance about luxury or about performance. Well, Ford has three of them. First of all, the Focus RS. Yep, impressive little car, really fast. You've got the Ford GT, a real classic, completely revised and a real true collector's car. And you've got the Ford Raptor. Well, if you're gonna sell a lot of truck, why not make one that stands apart? And believe me, the Raptor is an impressive machine. It's performant, you've got an awesome suspension, and it's still gonna be able to work. Yep, so let's go discover the exterior of the Ford Raptor right now here at Car Question. So you're looking at the Ford the Raptor Super Crew. We've got the graphic kit installed on this one. The color is in got silver and believe me, this is major styling and aggressive in some kind of way. Look at the front end of that truck. You've got not the oval sign, but really the for the letter right here. These are big and you've got some LEDs right here on top and you've got some even on the fender right here major LED use for the headlights right here. It's really giving a lot of style. Yep, a lot of nice black accent in this headlight right here. Let's look on the hood, so graphic right here installed. We've got also a functional hood vent, so it's gonna permit some air to go out because this engine is generating a lot of heat. So the windshield is really big. You've got the wipers and I really love the sticker that you're gonna see that this truck is made in Dearborn a truck plant, built for tough with Rouge Pride. So let's go back to the front end right here and look at the unique bumper that they put it on that Ford Raptor. You're gonna see some tow hooks, but you're gonna see some wide opening. And this is gonna be perfect to get some major suspension travel, but also some great angle of attack. So, ah, oh, wow, look at the Fox shock right here. You've got some underplating protection, so if you hit some rock, that's gonna be okay. But geez, look at the size of those table. Really big in some kind of way. So 360 degree camera, this is gonna be the perfect camera also to do some rock crawling to see if you're gonna hit anything while going up those hills slowly. So muscular, I like the styling of that F-150 right now. On the side, Geez, that truck is huge. Look at the big tires. This is probably one of the nicest parts with the wheels. This is gonna be good for 315, 70, 17. So this is the latest BF Goodrich Alteran TA tires, the KO2 as they call it. You will find the mentioned Beijo Champion right here on the side. And this tire has the snowflake symbol, but remember, it's not too bad in winter, but if you're going to go into real serious stuff, uh, try to put some studded tires. Look at the fender. The suspension travel will go all the way in there. You've got some functional vents right here on the side also. The mirror right there, you're gonna find the blinker, but this is gonna be also used for some kind of auxiliary lights to light the side. So let's say that you're in the wood. You will have some welcoming lights also under here and still another camera for the 360 degree view. Typical curve right there in the window of the Ford F-150. You've got right there the dial pad that you can use to lock, uh, unlock the door. You've got nice tinted windows. And if you want to lock the door, well, you can simply press on that button, hold the handle if you want to unlock it. And I don't know, they should have put the same feature right here in the rear, but that didn't happen. So you've got some side step that you can put your foot on and look at the nice logo. So the traction is gonna be perfect and you've got a lot of holes. So if you go into the mud, well, it's gonna be able to go down with no problem though. Raptor logo right here on the side. Man, I love that graphic. So if you want to put on some fuel, 
you've got the catalyst, um, sans bouchon, as they call it, easy fuel. <laughs> so you don't have to put the cap anywhere. And look at the wheels with the bead look. I really love those. I love the color right now. So Shock Fox, and this is probably one of the major and awesome components of that truck. The suspension is really great to go over bumps. So you're gonna find the same curvy form that you're gonna find in front of the truck right here in the, in the, in the, in the lights at the back. And you've got the blind spot radar right there, the mention that you're gonna see. So the blind spot's gonna be able also to check if there's anyone standing around your trailer. So if you don't see it in the mirrors, well, that's gonna be perfect. Raptor mentioned right here, Ford mentioned right here, and you've got a rear view camera and you've got also a little LED lights that you're gonna be able to use to clearly see when you're gonna be working with the truck. Big and nice bumper, which seems really solid with that tow hooks. You've got that dual exhaust line, all the trailer connectors that you're gonna need if you want to lower your tires also, it's gonna be possible. You've got the hitch, and let's look under there, full spare tire. And you've got, once again, major protection under the vehicle. So let's say that you're gonna do some intense off-roading. Let's open the bed. And by the way, you can use the remote control. You can press twice on the button and the bed will simply go down. This is really a high truck. So let's say that we need a little bit of help. We're gonna push there, pull the sliders out and your Cairo is gonna love you. And right now it's gonna be called Mr. Stick. So you pull out the stick and what you can do is just grab the handle right here and let's get inside the bed. So you will have LED lights right here and by the way, look at the sunroof, this is awesome. So and you even got the rear window that's gonna be able to open and you've got some defrost in the rear. Nice bed protection right here. Some perfect point that you can also right there use the key with it. You've got some LED lights that will light the bed and it seems really sturdy. So when it's gonna be time to go down, well, real easy. Put your foot and move down. So this is gonna be a little bit harder though with one hand. So you press on the one button to close it. There you go. And you press down and you simply push. There you go. And the sliders. And after that you lift. The panel is kind of heavy though. Same thing for the hood. It's kind of really heavy in the truck. So I'm gonna show you the lighting. There you go. Full lights. Oh, we're gonna turn on the truck also. Right there. We're gonna put the blinker and why not open one of the side auxiliary light that I was telling you about. So right now the garage is a mess, but hey, don't mind it. So you've got some powerful LED lights right here. Look at that with the blinker. It's simply awesome. And when I was telling you about the side auxiliary light, this is exactly what I was talking about. So this is really bright. So this is gonna light the way if you're in some kind of mess and need the lighting on the side. Big blinker, wow. So by the way, ah, this one is not turned on right now, but hey, let's go and turn on the cargo lights. I nearly forget that. Cargo lights. There you go, some lighting inside the bed, some lighting right there on top. And I was talking to you about that little lights right here. That's gonna give you a perfect lighting of the floor if you need to put something in your bed. So an awesome and good looking truck. That's what I like. I really love the styling of the Ford Raptor. It really makes a declaration that I'm the strong guy right here. What do you think about that? Do you like the look? Do you like the stance? Do you like the grunt appeal? Feel free to comment that in the section down there below. Don't forget to do a thumbs up because you like that video and subscribe to Car Question. Next up is gonna be the interior of the Ford Raptor right here at Car Question.